go to Katai, Tamari Himo, how are you all doing folks? We're playing some Minecraft. We can only got my character here, especially with the ginger here. Uh, the world's called Bink Says Boo 2, which is a completely random name from Dire of a Wimpy Kid. Alright guys, we are in, and here's my little chest area. I'm going to grab my items. Here's my uh, loot pool at the moment. We're doing pretty good with four name tags, two gold stuff uh, for horses, and a fat amount of the lepers. And where's my gear? Here we go. Here's my, well, items, I guess. Okay, so we got all our items. I'm going to take some apples and show you my base. Damn, son. In this survival world, we decided to base inside a village. We put a wall around it just to keep out bad guys and uh, zombies. Uh, you can see all the floating bits around. Oh, that's part of the mob spawner we had here, and I just kind of blew it up because it wasn't working. Uh, so here's the village. We got a little area over here, and that there is the mine. We got my sandstone mining area over there. I'll show you that after this. Uh, my brother's base is that way, as I made a minecart track that pretty much goes to a savanna. And there's a building I left out of the wall, and the wall is actually quite dirty, as it's got dirt in it. Uh, here's the village, and my base is pretty much right there. It's not that house, but I'll quickly show you. Okay, now we're down. Here's my little base. It's kind of gone off my starter base. If we head through these doors, we have a little area for villagers, as this village is heavily overpopulated. Through the iron doors, I have my dog. Didn't name it anything. I have four name tags, could do. Down the ladder, we have my smelting area with my blast furnaces and food ones. We got my friend here. My level three farmer is my friend. And here's his little house, gave him a little chest and green bed, you know. And then through here, we have my chest area. We got a lot of stone, a lot of cobblestone. And I just pop that away. Uh, here's our wood. Yeah, here's my wall. Food. Nether items. And redstone thingamajiggies. Uh, mob drops. So this is just kind of miscellaneous mob drops. Uh, uh, some light sources for my mining. Here's my tools where I put my unwanted ones. Kind of should use them. Got my dyes on flowers. Got my sandstone, which I've been madly collecting in my mine. I'll show you that later. Uh, enough some gravel I guess for TNT need some sand oh, I've got sandstone here's dirt and like natural things like plants and bamboo nothing and pretty much my loot stack and the chest here is where I put my items after I'm finishing up so that's my chest area here's my bed got it on a slab got a brewing stand and a enchantment table and a pumpkin through here is my extension to my base it's a the theme is kind of just a sandstone villa kinda or like an underground temple and down here here we have a mob spawner there'll be some mobs down there it's kinda broken I'm gonna fix it later but not today uh... yeah it's interesting mob spawner today I do wanna start working on this area of my base I'm also going to need to grab some food also another thing I need to do is sort out I also wanna sort out my food so I've uh, got plenty of apples, and I also want to get high. I also want to sort out my food, so I want to get a ton of cooked pork chops and a ton of, like, beef and fish, so you know. Uh, I also want to go mining in my sandstone place, so I can get some more. So I can get some more sandstone. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly time-lapse me grabbing some sandstone. Yeah. Alright guys, here we are at my sandstone mine. I've been mining this place out pretty pretty roughly. It's been some fun memories down here. Not really. A lot of death. Blow up some TNT here. There's tons of sandstone which I'm trying to get for my base. Let's start gathering some, I guess.
having all the sandstone I need. Um, yeah, you see me. Oh, I can get this guy Ladies to block. Gentlemen, so we got him. Alright, he exploded, but I don't think he got a lot of sandstone there. Kind of my first actual good survival world. I've not. This th oh, he missed. I shouldn't waste time doing this. Whatever they eat. Right, I'm just gonna quickly sleep. Right, that should reset my phantom. Alright, guys, I'm gonna sort out my base in here and pretty much set up a automatic uh, bamboo farm if I can. I'm just gonna sort out the floor first, so I'll be back to you when this is done. Done. Okay, I've sorted out the floor. I'm thinking of adding some strip to oat logs. Um, might be a nice addition. And it, that block kind of does fit in. Right, I got everything in my inventory turned to cut stone. Now I can just head on down to Chinatown. I also need to find an efficient way of lighting this up because I'm afraid one day I'm just going to come back and there's going to be a ton of creepers in there. We actually found a bunch of llamas actually where the mob spawner was. No idea why. Because we hadn't found a ton... Like, all our wandering traders had stopped showing up, so we were kind of sus. So I guess that's where they all went, down to a mob spawner where zombies occasionally spawn. Oh, don't you go down there. I don't want my villager going down there because it's kind of a dangerous spot for him to be in. Right, so... Now I've sorted out that, I need to sort out the lighting in the area, so I'm going to brainstorm some ideas and I'll be back to you when I have thought of my ideas. Okay, so I've come up with an idea that we have this in the middle to give a bit of light, so we can pick up some of these torches. So we can do smaller ones, like that. And I'm out of slabs, but I think we can do that, I guess. And I'm hearing zombies, which is not a good sign. I kind of like that, how you don't see the glowstone. So if we did that on every single side. I'm a big fan of not being able to see the light sources that are lighting up the place. And... Torches are kind of decoration in this theme. When you enter my area, it looks super symmetrical because I've got these slabs uh, have light sources, so it kind of lights up the path a little bit. But with the door there, it kind of throws it off a little bit. So if we block that up quickly, that looks quite symmetrical. That torch thing is a little bit out of place. this design multiple times. I'm just going to have to figure out where the center of the build is. Actually, I can just use the stairs and these torches. So this is the center of the build. So if I put a wall in, going this way, that would run into the mob spawner. Okay, I'm just going to put a wall going this way as well. Just for my preference. So this doesn't really matter if we put a wall up and it wasn't symmetrical. I just got to make a way to get to the mob spawner like this. So if I build the wall across like that, have sandstone. So if I have regular sandstone in the middle, what would that look like? I like that. Alright, that's okay. So I'll just do that on this side. Alright, that looks alright. I just need to give it a bit more depth on this wall here. Alright guys, I'd also like to know what to do 
or what you'd like to see in this Minecraft series because I'm and uh, I enjoy Minecraft. It's quite a fun game. You can take this close down. Uh, pop that back. Still don't have glowstone on me. Because I just used it all away. Okay, I got back one glowstone block. No glowstone dust, though. Yeah, I've used all my glowstone. Alright, guys, we're going to go quickly to the nether and see if we can find any glowstone. Alright, here's my nether portal. It's still got the same vibe as my base. There's not a lot of decoration on the, uh, the back of it. It's kind of just made for the effect here. Alright, so let's head into the nether. So here's our nether base. It's got nether items in it, I guess. And above here is our little area, I guess. I'm so worried doing this. This is super sketchy. Right, we're on our way down. That wasn't too hard. Pretty much a stack and a bit of uh, glowstone dust and I'm ready to head back now. Too easy. And then I just say that and probably get hit by a ghast. We are now going to fix our glowstone situation with pretty much a stack and five glowstone. So that's going to be quite fun. Now we've got 19 blocks of glowstone here. This probably isn't one of the most proudest entrances. Uh, you can still see the glowstone on the other side, which is great, because it's kind of just for a light source. So you drop down, and then the door can just go here, I guess. And three blocks, so... The entrance should be identical, if this is correct. There we go. So the entrances are identical are now identical to each other. Right, so I'm not sure what to use these areas for. We do of course have our mob spawner with the very terrible entrance. That'd be a great book, a very terrible entrance. But I will pretty much fix up this uh, entrance next episode, guys. I really enjoyed doing this video. I've we've sorted out a ton. We've sorted out my base area here. We got two rooms all sorted. Got them off farm, ready to go for next time. Sorted out the entrance, grabbed a crap ton of, well, we did a huge grind of sandstone, <laughs> which was pretty fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that. And we got a bit of food as well, so I pretty much ticked all the boxes I wanted to tick. Hello guys, thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you guys all later, and hopefully I can do another episode on this, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.